Hi everyone, Heather Wood here. I'm a senior director with 31 Gifts, and I just wanted to pop on to give you a um, tip about booking parties after the party. Uh, so let's talk about booking after a Facebook party. With every single Facebook party when it closes, I reach out individually, either by Facebook message, text, or email, um, to every single guest who or placed an order for the party. Um, you can, even if you're not Facebook friends with them, you can send them a Facebook message. It might go uh, into an alternative inbox. Um, and if you don't want that to happen, you can just go into your contacts in your um, back office because if they've placed an order, their contact information will be there and you can access their phone number or their email address. Now, when you're sending this individual uh, message, it's important to um, add personality to your message. And you can do that by um, adding emojis, by using some text slang like LOL, and by putting all caps in, um, in specific places so that you show your personality and you build a relationship because it's more likely that um, you will book with women who feel like they're getting to know you and who like you. So showing your personality and being authentic um, is very important when you're asking for a booking. So the three things I do in my message when I send the message is I thank them for their order, I ask them an open-ended question, and then I offer the booking. So let me show you an example. Give me my fancy sticky notes. <laughs> okay, this says, Hi Tammy, this is Heather Wood, Sally's 31 consultant. Happy face emoji. Thank you so much for your order. You are going to love, all caps, that large utility tote. What do you plan to use it for? So I used the emoji, the happy face emoji. I used love for all cats for the large utility tote because you know she's going to love the large utility tote. And then I asked the open-ended question. The open-ended question was at the end, and it said, do you, what do you plan to use the tote for? An open-ended question requires that um, the person replies with an answer rather than just a yes or no. A yes or no will pretty much stop, especially a no will just stop the conversation. But the way I've asked this question, leaving it open, she needs to respond in a way that we can still continue the conversation and build the relationship. So when I ask, what do you plan to use the tote for? She might answer back, oh my gosh, I'm going to use it for grocery shopping. And I might say back, girl, exclamation point, I have two large utility totes that I use every single time I go to the shop, right? And they are filled to the brim, LOL, exclamation point. And then I'll go into the booking. Why don't we schedule a party for you so you can get even more great free bags um, yourself. What do you think? Question mark. Okay. So I also ask, give the booking offer as an open-ended question by asking, what do you think? If I just ask, do you want to host a party? She might answer no, and then the conversation stops there. But by asking her, what do you think? It allows us the opportunity to talk about all the great reasons why she would want to host. Okay, so good luck with your um, bookings, and I wish you all the luck in the world, and this is Heather signing off. Bye.